welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a writing favorites video just because I really like watching favorites videos. I don't know why, I just, I do. And so I thought it'd be really cool to have one that's writing related, showing all of my favorite writerly sorts of things. So um, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'll put the links for any of them that I can find in the description. That way if you wanna check them out, you can. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff that I use for my writerly sorts of things. The first thing that I've been super into this month is um, is this. And while I do really like this mug, it's not what I'm talking about. It's the coffee that's inside. I wish I had the actual packaging for the coffee that I've been using recently, but it's the Honey Processed Organic Nicaragua one that's from Trader Joe's. And this coffee is so good. I make it in the French press and it's got such a creamy texture to it and just very, very, very pleasant tasting coffee. And it leaves your mouth feeling happy and just it, get you ready to get the day done after you have a cup of that coffee. So it's a fairly new coffee there and it's delicious and I love it. The second thing on my favorite list are these cute little sticky notes. They're sushi sticky notes. I got them from Korea and if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see that um, I've been using them a lot for my editing. They're the Waru Waru brand. Right there. Oh, I see it too well. Got them at the store in Korea that I didn't really see anywhere else other than the little small town I lived in. So I, I'm, I'm sure you can find little sushi sticky notes elsewhere on the internet. You can find anything on the internet. Um, but these ones specifically, I, I don't know how to get a hold of them. So yeah, <laughs> once they run out, they're gonna be out. And it's gonna be sad. They're so happy. Look, look at this little guy. It's a little wasabi. It's so cute. I love these guys. They're adorable. The next thing on my favorite writers list, writer favorites list, are these tiny little highlighters. I really like things that are small and just they seem cute. But I've been using these for editing as well as you can also see on my Instagram. I've been highlighting my manuscript up with these and each color stands for a different type of thing that needs to be edited. So uh, I've been getting quite a lot of use out of these and the orange one is kind of starting to fade out on me and I don't want it to because I, I'm not even halfway through editing this mess. The next thing on my list is this pen. It's like a pink and gold pen and on it it says Oh, I don't even know if these words are gonna show up. But it says coffee because adulting is hard and it came with a little coffee charm on the side here. This is little blue coffee cup, it was really adorable. But it fell off and I put it back on and it just keeps falling off. So I just keep it like this now because it's easier to write with that way. Although I do kind of miss the little crunch noise it makes when it writes. This is from a store called Paper Source and if I can find it on their website, I'll link it below. But it's a really nice pen. It writes really smoothly. Um, it just, it, it has a good weight to it and it feels really good. Next thing on my list is this notebook. This is a notebook that my friend got for me and she's the one that's helping me edit my book. So I gave it to her, I sent it to her and she made all of these lovely notes on it and sent them back to me in this notebook. And it's kind of cool because it's sort of zodiac themed. It's got the name of the different zodiacs on it and like lions and you know, different things. And then on the back there's like, more decorations of the same kind. And my book has to do with like this fantasy zodiac celestial realm, I'm calling it. So it's, it's on theme and it's got really nice smooth feeling paper that's not that grainy with the perforated edges so you can rip them out. So her notes for my revisions are in here and then I've also been writing my own down as I'm going through my manuscript and it's just been lovely. The next things I'm gonna mention are books because even though not all of them specifically have to do with writing, they help boost your imagination and help you figure stuff out. So I still consider them part of my 
I don't know, writerly routine because without reading other people's books, I would be so lost and so uninspired. So the first one, I actually have it on my Kindle, is The Alpha Drive by Kristen Martin. She's a self-published author. I've mentioned her in a lot of other of my videos. Uh, I like to watch her channel a lot. I've just been reading that right now when I wake up in the morning. It was on my monthly goal list to finish it, so I've got a couple more days before the end of August. Yeah, but I've just been reading it in the morning when I have breakfast, and it's great for kind of getting me in the mood to write my own book, because it's really, I think, important if you're going to be self-published to read other self-published books. Because once you see that other people can self-publish books that actually sound and read like actual books, and it can also, you know, be successful at it. It's really inspiring to get writing your own book and not feel so defeated about choosing to go the whole self-publishing route. So that's what I've been reading in the mornings um, to kind of get my day started. Other book, I've mentioned this a lot as well, is the Write Your Novel in a Month by Jeff Girk. I This book has just been a super valuable resource for me. It It's split up into three sections. So the first one is like pre-planning your book. The middle section is about actually writing it within 30 days and then the last section is what you do afterwards. So it includes things you should do for your edits, it includes different publishing options, just information on how to market your book, lots of different things covered in here and it's not, the first, the most in-depth is like the pre-planning which is really useful because it has a lot of information on character development which as a plot driven writer I have a little bit of a hard time with sometimes so it just has a lot of really cool new ideas and methods in it that could be useful to you and the editing section like my gosh it's it's really great because it calls attention to so many things that I never even thought of before that need to be dealt with in the edit so I would definitely recommend this book it's really good and it's been super super helpful to me as I write my first book. And then the last thing I have on this video is this book called Rich Bitch. I'm not done reading it yet. I'm a little over halfway done. Maybe I have like a fourth bit left. But this book is changing my life. Seriously, I didn't realize how much I didn't know about finances that like I need to know about finances until I read this book. And it's definitely geared for a female audience, for sure. Not to say that men couldn't read it, but um, she's definitely, you know, she's she's talking to a girl in this book. So it's, it's really great. It's really conversational. It just, it teaches you everything you need to know about getting your finances in order and starting not everything you need to know about starting your own business, but like where you need to be financially and what things you need to consider if you want to start your own business, which I do. If you're interested in that kind of stuff and kind of feel like your financial world is a mess right now, like I do, definitely super recommend this book. It's great. And even if you just want to learn more, it's a really fun read. She's a really, really good writer and has a very distinct voice. It's quite enjoyable. So anyway, that's all I have for my favorites list for this month. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and like it so that I know or leave me a comment. And also, if you have anything that really helps you on your writer journey, let me know in the comments below so I can check it out because I'm always looking for fun new things. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and if you would like to receive weekly updates on how to start, write, and publish your novel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm posting new videos every Tuesday now. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them down in the comments below or find me on one of my social media links listed in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, bye!